Well, it's, once again, it's Monday, uh, another edition of the Fast Five. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Uh, thank you for tuning in, clicking on this video. We, you know, with the insanity that's going on around the world on that, but we're going to stay away from that. And then we're going to bring you five. That's a total of five stories for you. Uh, it's after New York Comic Con. Uh, we will have a bonus Fast Five this week as well uh, with a couple things from the uh, New York Comic Con. So do stay tuned for that. But let's get started with this Fast Five and especially that we have news on a uh, <laughs> postponement again on a particular trial we're covering right here on the Fast Five. Well, if you haven't guessed yet, yes, that's right. Let's start off with this. The Mercedes Career trial has been postponed once again uh, at a four recent hearings. Uh, Judge Katrina West uh, reset the uh, pre-trial date from September 29th, then to October 3rd, 13th, and now we are going into November 6th. Um, you, if you're not familiar with this, Carrera and her husband, Jason Whitley, were arrested after police raided their ran Rancho Cucamonga home back on, in February of 2019. I mean, right now we're going, we're probably going to end up going into a fifth year with this trial. Delay after delay after delay. And you know, the thing about it is, is that uh, Mercedes Carrera and her husband don't have proper legal uh, representation. Uh, they're, they're using court appointed lawyers on there because believe me, uh, their bail was set very high and they've already liquidated all their assets. So basically they, they're, they're stuck in jail. I mean, by now they should have been at least released at this point. I mean, four years in and still uh, nothing to show. So we'll continue to monitor this for you everyone uh as we've done before hopefully pre-trial will start on november 6. well moving on and this was anticipated the internet uh showroom best buy that's what we call it these days uh is going to be ending the physical media at their stores uh dvd blu-ray disc sales uh they they ended music a while back i believe i'm not certain if they still do but the consumer electronics retailer will phase out all DVDs and Blu-rays in both in-store and online in early 24, according to the industry sources familiar with the company's plans. Best Buy made the initial decision to end DVD sales nine months ago, according to one source. Uh, you know, the thing is, I the way Best Buy manages their company uh, it is just... You know, you can get a better price elsewhere. And this is why we call it the internet store, because you can go elsewhere, even to Walmart and find most of this stuff at a better price point. On occasion, you might find something at a decent price, but if you look carefully, you'll probably find it, you know, a couple of bucks cheaper elsewhere. But I think it is, it's time. Best Buy, like Circuit City, I think it's time has come to finally uh, fade into the past. Moving on over to gymnastic news. Uh, if you haven't heard this, and most people haven't, if you're familiar with M Mary Lou Retton, she was an Olympic gold medalist back in the 84 Olympics. Well, we're finding out that she's fighting for her life against a rare form of pneumonia. But uh, what's more surprising is that the 55-year-old legend doesn't even have health insurance. And her uh, family was helping for financial help to the tune of $50,000 to uh, cover the bills. According uh, to the family, she's unable to breathe on her own. She's been on an ICU for over a week now. Uh, out of respect uh, for her and her, her family, uh, they um, asking for privacy and will not disclose all the details but the family says, however, she did disclose they're not insured. Luckily, a Houston uh, company, uh, basically gallery furniture chain owned by uh, Linda and Jim Mattress Mac in, in Vale. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, they have 
uh, donated, uh, chipped in about $50,000 to handle uh, a lot of the medical bills that are coming across. Now, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with her, take a YouTube trip, history trip on her. Uh, you know, she's very famous. She's been on Wheaties boxes. Of course, in 84, she won the Olympic gold, made her famous. Uh, walked around with a lot of greats on there, even appeared in certain movies and TV series on there. Uh, one I'm not remember, familiar with was the movie Scrooged uh, with uh, Bill Murray that she was in on that. But uh, it's a shame to see this on there. And, you know, you wonder, you know, how did this become a, a woman of her statue, you know, growing up as one of the great Olympians, no medical insurance. But hey, listen, this is where we at in the world. You could be still famous and still be broke. So we'll continue to monitor this uh, as more information does get released. And then meanwhile, switching over to anime, uh, Katakawa was one of the uh, major sponsors for the 2020 Olympics, which basically because of COVID happened in 2021. However, there were soon accusations that some of the people at Katakawa bribed their way into being sponsors. And Toshiyuki Yoshira, uh, an executive at Katakawa, was found guilty by a Tokyo District Court for bribing uh, Haruyuki Ta Takahashi, a former member of the Tokyo Olympic Organizing Committee. According to the accusations, uh, they were uh, the payment was out of a U.S. dollars, four hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars just to get Kawakawa special treatment at the Olympics. The judge in the case handed down a two year prison sentence uh, that is suspended for four years. In other words, if Yoshihira obeys the law for four years, he doesn't get put behind bars. The judge further said he knew uh, Yogashihara knew what he was doing was illegal. The judge commented. I mean, this is the stuff that happens in Olympics, FIFA, you know, there's always bribery on there and we have to bring this forward. And finally, well, you know, when uh, you're out on a date and your date decides to eat about 48 oysters on a date, what is going to happen next? Uh, you wouldn't believe. Well, it turns out an Atlanta woman was ridiculed online after posting a TikTok of downing 48 oysters with audible slurping and followed by a crab cake and red, pot red potato entree while dating with a man. The fellow supposedly had uh, but one drink as if it was his expression that no food would be ordered only to see her shelly fish down dish after dish. He reported excusing himself to the restroom before the meal ended and then just left the rendezvous uh, allegedly leaving her with the $184 tab. Why the F would he go to the bathroom and never come back? I'm holding on. It's been 10, 20, 30 minutes, according to what she said. The incident in question happened at the Fontaine Oyster House, and the staff were admittedly flabbergasted at how she downed so much of the nature's aphrodisiac. I mean, if you look at some of the comments on online on this, people were slamming her of what she eating because they were the couple was only there to have drinks, and I guess she went overboard to eat while <laughs> there. Um, you know, shouldn't walk away from situations like that, but uh, you know, this does happen from time to time, and you do hear stories of this nature, and it comes from both sides. Uh, whether it's the male or the female who ends up walking out. So tell me in the comments below your thoughts on all one, two, three, four, five of these stories uh, that we brought to you on this edition of the Fast Five. Remember, subscribe, like, share, and also don't forget to check out our, our other show, Mad Man with the Show, which is on Tuesday through Thursdays on all of our social media platforms, YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble. So until next Monday, we'll see you at noon at our normal time. And also don't forget to check out our 
bonus round of the Fast Five. It'll be on this week, so do stay tuned in for that as well. So until next time, thank you for tuning in, and uh, uh, stay away from the oysters. Bye-bye now. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe as it helps us increase the reach of our channel. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.